Wow, we got some news coming out of the, I guess, hip-hop world, pop world, whatever you want to call it. Rapper Sean Kingston, uh, the one who made, what's that song back in the day? Beautiful girl. He ended up getting arrested last week in Florida, or they did double raise Florida, California. Him and his mom's mom, Dukes, mama was accused of basically fraud we'll just say fraud says they racked up forty six thousand eighty six thousand dollars in furniture forty four thousand dollars in bad checks Cadillac Escalade they got for 160 and or that they owe and they also owe almost a half a million on jewelry now again Sean Kingston home was raided and like I said his mom's locked up I think she's still locked up I remember at one point he put a statement out, but then he got locked up in Broward County down there in Florida on a $100,000 bail. And again, everybody knows it's innocent to proven guilty. We don't know what's going on. I'm hoping it's a misunderstanding. However, and, and this is what I try to tell my nephews, honestly, my sons. You don't really... You don't need all of that now, Sean. You 34 years old, man. You done racked up, allegedly, uh, $480,000 worth of jewelry. You still buying jewelry? $160,000 Cadillac Escalade you didn't pay off? Man, if you don't go get you a, a little used Land Rover somewhere, Range Rover, and maybe it's just me, but my whole thing is if you're famous and people know you, you don't need no super huge mansion. You don't need a whole bunch of cars. You don't need to do it to where you're in a situation to where you're running up over a half million dollars worth of uh worth of fraud and i get it it's this whole rapper r&b pop star lifestyle that you have to maintain but how, honestly how many of y'all have ever really seen people maintain it like that and i'm talking about even the people from my ear jay did did it um who else Nas obviously because Nas got in the tech it ain't that many of them it ain't that many of them uh, Kanye obviously it's only a handful even a lot of people who were growing up in my area then went broke and it shouldn't have to be like that man you don't need a half a million dollars worth of jewelry it ain't it's not resellable anyway you're not making no profit on it I can understand if you had a half million dollars worth of acres somewhere in Texas or in Georgia somewhere but you you try to keep up this lifestyle and I get it Justin Bieber was your friend and he owned a jet and listen man I ain't keeping up with nobody if one of my homeboys is billionaires and they flying private, if I'm on the jet with them, cool. But I ain't got no problem flying Delta. No problem flying commercial. And, you know, a lot of times we we have this lifestyle or we want this lifestyle to appease other people. That's not really what makes us happy. You know, when you got on a $100,000 chain, you want people to acknowledge you. When you have a foreign car, you want people to acknowledge you nine times out of ten. And all this is it's just it's artificial, it ain't even real. And you're gonna see this over and over and over again about all these people going broke, athletes and entertainers, and it just it doesn't make any sense to me. Honestly. And then your mom involved, come on man. I, oh, man. I would have told my mom, look, we're gonna have to downsize just a little bit. We're gonna have to give up one of these homes now, you know. And we might have to get a house in the country or whatever in the woods, but we're going to be straight. But as far as this whole fraud thing, and people who write these bad checks, man, they always get caught at some point. At some point, and I think the jeweler, wasn't the jeweler over there too in Florida when they did the raid because he owned a jeweler all that money? Man, ain't nobody finna be playing games with y'all, man. Just let it go. You know, and, and if anything, be like Chad up to single. You better have you some fake jewelry on. Don't nobody really know. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it and tell me what y'all think.